it is time for my first nonfiction review. I am not a huge nonfiction fan, but I have found a few authors that I actually enjoy reading. Um, so that has excited me because I've always felt with as much reading I do that if I did enjoy nonfiction, I could be really knowledgeable on so many different things. Um, so I'm pleased to have found a couple of authors that I actually enjoy reading. For today, I'm going to be reviewing Most Dangerous, Daniel Ellsberg and the Secret History of the Vietnam War by Steve Scheinken. Although I am not generally a nonfiction fan, I did truly enjoy this book. It read like a great adventure story, yet all of it is based on fact. My father was in Vietnam, but I never did learn much about it in school, and he never talked much about it. It was, as my mom puts it, a very political war, and I think for that reason, a lot of people didn't talk about it. Scheinkin did a good job describing the politics in thorough but comprehensible terms. He spent some time on Ellsberg's experiences actually in Vietnam, but most of the book talks about the politics that led to the war, during the war, and ultimately leading to Daniel's decision to release the Pentagon Papers. I realize there are so very many sides to this war and the decisions surrounding it, and I had to keep reminding myself that this is just one man's point of view. I would be very interested in reading other viewpoints on both sides of Ellsberg's actions. There are a few difficult scenes during the descriptions of his time in Vietnam. It was pretty brutal, I have to say. Um, and this is a rather meaty topic. Therefore, I would recommend this book to high school teens or mature seventh and eighth graders who enjoy nonfiction, American politics, or political adventure stories, whether they be true or fictional. 